All right, everybody, more Final Cut Pro X filters for you. Today we're going to go over radial, rain, raindrops, and raster. Okay, these are pretty simple. Radial is simply a radial blur. Um, let's get rid of this quick flash spin here. You have an amount and a center, which you can actually do right on screen. And that's all it does. Pretty simple. Rain. This one's interesting. <clears throat> this one has some on-screen controls and some controls over here in the inspector. The on-screen controls uh, determine the throw and direction of the rain. There is an amount. You can kind of see some rain in there. It'd probably be best if I had a lighter clip. Let me see if I can find a clip with more lightness to it. Let's try this one. Oops. Let's turn down the audio. We don't need it in here. All right, let's throw rain in there. And you can see the, uh, the rain falling here because of the lightness of the clip. Okay. Let's bring the amount up. It kind of darkens it. Puts more lines in there. All right. You have high quality, which makes the rain have a little more dynamic range in the rain. There's some dark spots and some light spots. Density, which increases the density of the rain or decreases. Colorize, which allows you to make it look darker or lighter. And then brightness of the rain itself. And then the angle, which is part of the on-screen controls. All right, good. Let's go back and grab. Let's see, I think I used camels, 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 camels. Actually, no, it wasn't out of this one. It was out of this one. I'll just pull it from here. We'll just go ahead and leave it all in there. No biggie. All right, raindrops. This is not like rain. This is more like looking at a puddle and watching rain falling on it. So without this, she's that way. Now this way, it's this way, and this is all dark. All right, so you have an amount You have drops, which increase the amount of drops. So there's lots of drops now. You have ripple size. You have perspective, which doesn't change the perspective of the image. It changes the perspective of the drops. Let me find a lighter shot. Right here. All right, now you can see what will happen with the drops. See that? You have flop image, which you can turn off. And then drop off, which is just the darkness on the top of it. All right, let's get rid of the raindrops. And we'll do raster. 
And you can see it it's, looks similar to the line screen, only you don't have any, any choice over this. Like you can't adjust the, um, the angle of the lines. This would be similar to an older CRT screen to make it look like, uh, like it's on an older computer screen or something like that. So you can just add this effect very subtly. And this would be something you would add in one of the layers to make it look like it's being seen on a screen as opposed to being seen live like the rest of whatever you're doing. All right. So that was radial, rain, raindrops, and raster. And next time we will go over rectangular highlight, red and green. Um, I think reflective floor is one I made. We'll check it out. And yeah, I made this one. Forget those ones. I've made those. We'll go over romantic, sci-fi, scrape, and seasons. All right. Thank you very much for watching.